282, Mike with a kilo. Oh, what a beautiful audio, man. Oh, my God. Who is that uh, complimenting me? Who was that masked man who said we had good audio? This is WA2, Mike Rebecca Kilo. Roger, and what's the name there, sir? Hello, Jim. My name is Bob. I just had one general question. I don't know whether you can field or not. Ah, uh, gosh, I don't know. They don't call me Dr. VKV for nothing. Well, I just got on uh, the band again after years and noticed a new phenomenon where apparently people, uh, I guess when they're tuning up their transmitter, they have it on uh, CW, and they sweep their high-power carrier across the band. You... I wondered why. Is this got right. something to do with the new SDR spectrum displays or what? Uh, no, uh, uh, probably what they're doing is uh, looking at their SWR. Uh, they're probably on the 100 watt scale looking at their SWR and then they, they VFO across the band and watch their VFO uh, uh, SWR rise as they approach the uh, edges of the band. You know, uh, that's uh, as near as I can figure out what they're doing, Roger. Well, I guess different things annoy different people, but it kind of annoys me. It's, uh, but I guess that's the new... Uh, new thing to do. Anyways, I'm going to let you go soon because you've got other customers. One last comment. You know, as an individual, you must have tremendous stamina and patience. <laughs> I don't know how you're able to uh, go on for as long as you do with all your uh, listeners. So thanks uh, for uh, the explanation and I'll let you go to the next person. This is... Uh, WA2 Mike with Beck Kilo saying 73 to KC9 VKV. Thanks, Jim. Roger, Bob, uh, just looking at your signal, uh, we could make you a lot fatter if you might be interested. Well, yeah, you know, uh, if you can keep going, I can keep going. <laughs> uh, it's a 7300, and as you. I missed the base setting though. Oh, you said you don't, you haven't really looked at a, set up your cheat sheet yet. But uh, I'm holding the microphone about, I'd say, six inches away. And uh, I've done most of the settings, you know, compression. I haven't looked at the ALC, uh, but I'm going to adjust that offline, you know, to your recommendations. What, what about the base? Well, uh, let's get your... What mic are you running? Uh, the OEM uh, manufacturer shipped mic uh, that comes with the uh, radio. It's the numbers on the back. Uh, and um, I've got a... Um, i got a new old um, Collins 30 L1 amp that I'm running now. So that's kind of new for me. Roger, Bob. Okay, uh, that uh, microphone, what you need to do, the way you should work that, that hand mic, is pull it to the side of your mouth to where it actually touches the side of your mouth and talk across it. Pull it, uh, if you're using your right hand, pull it to the side of your cheek and talk right across it. Actually, contact with your, your cheek on the side and talk right across it, Roger. Wow, you're kidding. Uh, I can see it's making a difference possibly here, yeah. Um, I didn't realize that, Jim. It, it, I've got it close to my cheek and to the left side. I'm holding it with my left hand. All right. Now, uh, what I want you to do is be sure that your compressor is engaged at about a three. Engage your compressor at about a three. 
Check. All right, then move to your ALC, and uh, with the mic gain in hand, adjust your ALC level to where it's running mid-scale to two-thirds. As you uh, continue working that, you should always work that microphone just like I told you, Roger. Okay, Jim. Uh, oh, the AC, the ALC is way down, way down. Um, uh, I think I've got it. Uh, yeah, I can see the ALC scale here, and uh, it's not registering very high at all. Um, I can turn, I'll turn the mic gain up here. It's at 50% already, but here goes some more mic gain and taste, and then you can advise me from there. Uh, now I'm up to 70. Oh, that registers higher for sure. I'm all the way up to full, it won't go any higher, oh wait a minute, yes it will, uh, okay the mic gain is now at, uh, what's it say, I should wear my glasses, it's all the way up to 90% now. All right, uh, I'd pull it back to 60. I'd pull it back to 60. And I'll tell you what, you've got a, a watt meter. Uh, are you, you're running a, 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 a PA, Roger? Yes, sir. Uh, I've got a uh, Telstar. Telstar uh, A2. What is it? Let me read it here. AT2KD. And uh, uh, on CW, you know, it's running around 500 watts, uh, I think. Okay. Uh, well, what I'm saying is you've got a watt meter tied to the output of that, Roger? Yeah, I, I can read the watts. All right. What I want you to do is put that watt meter on PEP. It has uh, two scales, RMS and PEP. I want you to put that watt meter on uh, PEP, and I want you to look at that watt meter uh, and start looking at it as a VU meter it, uh, as you speak. And uh, what you want to do is, with your voice as much as possible, keep that uh, meter in the sweet spot. And that has to do with the uniformity of your speech and the rate of your speech. Uh, because if you talked like that, the meter would fall down all the time. But if you have a, a, a regular cadence to your speech, then uh, that meter will, you know, be inclined to stay in the sweet spot if you are running, uh, you know, mic level uh, as such that your AOC is indicating mid-scale to two-thirds. Just watch your watt meter and try to keep it in the sweet spot with your voice. Roger? Okay, Jim. Uh I'm not sure on the watt meter what you meant by uh, sweet spot, but yeah, I see what you mean. Uh, it's now on the peak, it's up around, you know, staying up around 400 watts. Mary had a little lamb, or its fleece was white as snow. Yeah, or, or a reasonable facsimile thereof. But uh, yeah, just uh, be, you know, it's going to take you. Uh, it's going to take you a while to really adjust to that. It took me uh, over 50 years. <laughs> I've been looking at view meters for 50 years, so you know they they come now pretty second uh, nature to me. But uh, you know, just watch your uh, your watt meter in the uh, and use the PEP so it moves uh, fairly quickly. And uh, what you want to do is try to keep it. Uh, at that uh, sweet spot uh, on the meter as uh, as best as possible there you will you know it'll take you a while to get used to that but uh, you will have a much uh, fatter signal roger okay jim um i'm uh, an old timer uh and uh, i know what you mean by a, a v u meter a voice unit i guess it's called uh i, I i'll have to do my homework offline uh, to see how it you know, cross correlates with uh, the power meter and the ALC and so forth. But uh, I think I need to do a little uh, homework and then uh, sometime get back to you. So for today, uh, uh, I, I don't want to wear you out anymore <laughs> today. And thanks for the help. 
Well, Roger, I think the, the important thing is to be able to uh, uh, keep that ALC running mid-scale to two-thirds. You know, just to set that, uh, just uh, talk, uh, you know, work that microphone just like you normally would. Don't uh, yeah, get one, two, three, four. Don't get that way. Just talk the way you normally talk and the way you normally adjust the microphone and just bring your mic level up to where your ALC is running mid-scale to two-thirds. And then uh, start watching your uh, watt meter uh, as uh, you know, just a, a, a given uh, incentive to uh, keep your modulation up, Roger. Okay, Jim, I just want to let you know uh, you're, <laughs> you're pounding in here at 10 over on the 7300 and uh, uh, excellent uh, audio. Um, I had one last comment. Uh, oh, I'll think of that the next time. <laughs> so this is uh, WA2 Mike. Quebec Kilo saying so long and thanks to Jim KC9 VKC. Roger, Roger, Bob. And uh, if you would like, you can go to YouTube in the next couple of days and uh, hear what your audio sounds like. Uh, I think it sounds, sounds great now that we've got some uh, adjustments made to it. If you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, uh, that will uh, take you to our QSO VLOG page. And on that page, you'll be looking for uh, my group air check 1320. Today's date, my group air check, 1320. Roger? Roger, and 73. Roger, 3 that way. This is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give us a shout.